Hi guys, welcome back. Iterator was important and complex. So I tried my best to make things simpler. These are extremely simple functions. So I will teach you only those functions which you will be using mostly in real programming. If you want to learn, just click on these links. Just take an example of front and click on front. You don't need to read all this boring stuff. Just looking at the example and output, you can you can guess the uh, functionality of front. Let's remove this code. See out numbers dot front. So 10 is printed, so it returns the first value, the front value of the list. Similarly, the back will return the back value. Let's copy paste because I'm lazy. Back. Let's learn how to use auto keyword. I forgot to show you the auto keyword for iterators. First write auto, the name of our iterator and then assign it to the first element in our list. That is numbers.begin. And let's see out the first element in our list. It's working. So rather than writing this code, you can directly replace it with auto keyword. I think auto is created for lazy people like me. Now let's use push front function. build and run 500 is getting printed why iterator it showing 500 in first place because the push front function insert the value at the front of the list now i want to insert 15 in between 10 and 20 we need to pass two arguments in insert iterator position and the value we want to insert Suppose iterator it points to 10. So numbers dot insert. So this will insert 15 in front of 10 because it is pointing to 10. Something like this. But we want to insert 15 in between 10 and 20. That means in front of 20. So our iterator should point to 20. Our So we need so we will use for loop so this test statement means if the value in iterator is 20 that means iterator is pointing to 20 which exactly we want then we will insert 15 in front of 20 that's mean 10 15 and 20 and this loop is just to print the list second one okay oops i confused my id because two for loops looks exactly same and the list is updated so we need to give the updated beginning to the second for loop so id is equal to numbers dot begin
let's run so 15 is insert is inserted in front of 20 To delete elements from front, we use pop front. Let's experiment numbers dot pop front. Five hundred is removed. Now let's remove forty by using pop back. These are simple functions. You can guess their, guess their functionality by their names. So numbers dot pop back. Ten, twenty, thirty. Forty is deleted. Guys, I think that I have covered all the popularly used functions for list. And all the remaining are super easy. You can even guess their functionality by their names or watch my video on Mac. Guys, I hope you can imagine the amount of work and time I invested in this video. The only thing I want from you is to click on that like button so that this video will appear on top of YouTube search. And please comment a lot and don't be lazy to share something good with your friends. Thanks for watching.